Well, first of all, thank you for the invitation to this amazing forum, which I think it's a, it's a sign that the, 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 the times we are living, what we are going through, is not really new, started like we were saying 100 years ago, right? It's just accelerated. And uh, the way we support it, we are basically partnering with educators and students to deliver best in class learning experiences to develop future leaders, which sounds like a cliche, but each piece of that, you're, you see that we say partnering. Partnership means trust. We need to really understand what educators are going through. And we were talking about technology and the human component is basically the challenge. So we need to understand what educators are going through, how we drive that change, how we support them in this acceleration. They, they need to adopt technology, that's obvious. They've been doing that, but how we accelerate that? They, so they feel confident and they feel comfortable so they can really be engaged themselves first. And then in, increase students' engagement. And, and all that comes after that, when we develop those experiences that then the leaders can really navigate and drive the change and the, and the world we go through. So that's, that's what we do. When we, when we say learning experiences, this can go from the case method that this year we celebrate 100 years, so it's not a new method, but it's still valid. To, but the methodology is, is not new, but the tools we use to deliver that methodology are, are changing. We developed simulation for more than 20 years, but now we are doing more and more. So simulations is the tool, but at the end, it's all about the learning experience of the students, it's all about the participants. And that's, that's the, the, the key, is the participant, because we are talking more and more, not just case method, but the participant-centered learning.